the candidates. Some info about the candidates for the AD job. This is a lot. <laughs> I, I compiled this stuff from their bios posted on their uh, respective websites. So we're going to get to it. First up will be Eddie Nunez. But Eddie Nunez named AD in New Mexico seven years ago. I thought, try to focus on the key points for Houston interest. Under Nunez, New Mexico has entered partnerships with Play, Play Fly Sports, formerly Outfront Sports, rebranding, rebranding UNM's external marketing arm as New Mexico Sports Properties. Nunez also extended the department's long-standing partnership with Nike to continue as the official outfitter of the university's athletic programs. He has also led the restructuring of the Lobo Club to streamline align and enhance the fundraising efforts towards UNM athletics. And let me just stop right there. That is sorely needed at Houston, sorely, sorely. Streamlining, improving it, all of that is sorely needed. Fundraising, athletics, communication, all of that is just truly needed for Houston. All right, back to it. This new restructuring has been instrumental in improving donations, <clears throat> increasing Lobo Club membership, improving customer service, <clears throat> and reestablishing trust with donors and supporters. <clears throat> ahem, ahem, ahem. Miss Wanda, I'm sure you can relate to that. During Nunez's tenure, the Lobo Club Champions Council has continued to grow in members and in financial support. That's important. For 14 years, starting in 2003, Nunez served in a variety of high-level administrative capacities at LSU, one of the nation's top athletic departments. We all know that. He also has served as the department's liaison with LSU Sports Properties, the Tiger Athletic Foundation, and University Licensing and brand management. While he held seven positions and titles at LSU, the department continually flourished. Under his guidance, LSU experienced $400 million in facility renovations and construction. $400 million. And Nunez led the renegotiations of a 10 year Multimedia rights agreement with Outfront Media Sports is now Play Fly Sports. Additionally, Nunez oversaw the planning and management of the LSU Athletic Strategic Plan, marketing and promotions, athletic communications, social and media, creative services, video slash network broadcast services, and all capital projects. So that's info about Eddie Nunez. At New Mexico, the AD, who was two days ago, quote unquote, the front runner for the job at UH. He's no longer the front runner, based on info that Joseph Duarte wrote today about Tennessee Deputy AD Ryan Alpert, who I'll get to shortly. And you're watching the Houston Round Ball Review Takeover of the Lunch Break, powered by JME, streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Fire TV, Twitch. And of course, Roku via the BS3 network. Here we go. Ryan Alpert is the new person. I had to scramble to get this in for the show. In his current role at Tennessee, Miss Wanda Polk, you are welcome. Rex says Nunez sounds solid, especially his LSU experience. That's why I put it in there. In his current role at Tennessee, Alpert oversees several major capital projects that total nearly half a billion dollars in total project costs, including a $337 million renovation at historic Neyland, some say Nyland Stadium, a $45 million renovation of the Anderson Training Center, and a $95 million renovation of Lindsey Nelson Stadium. Alpert serves as the campus and athletics lead on one of the most 
transformative projects in all of college athletics, the Neyland Entertainment District, the public public private partnership aimed at the development of a in class entertainment district spanning the Tennessee River waterfront near historic Neyland Stadium. John Cardenas, welcome, welcome, welcome. He likes Nunez. Well, see what, how you feel about the other candidates based on when I share more details but about them. Revenue generation has skyrocketed under Alpert's tenure at Tennessee after finishing, finishing with an all-time high of $154 million in athletics revenue in the 2022 fiscal year. Tennessee Athletics posted a record amount of just over $202 million for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2023. Alpert also has complete annual budget oversight and long-term financial forecasting for the department. Is UT's lead on football scheduling, adding key games to the Vols' future schedules. Once again, that info is about Ryan Alpert, who, based on today and reporting from Joseph Duarte, is strongly in the mix. But I think based on sources at College AD, he was that powerful deputy who was rising up the list of potential hire for the spot at Houston. So keep him in mind. At Missouri, he worked at Missouri before LSU. He's had a lot of experience on the power four level. But at Missouri, his second professional tenure there, Alpert was charged with developing new revenue streams, which is key at Houston, supporting the Tigers' 20 sport intercollegiate athletics programs, while also providing leadership and oversight of the Tiger Scholarship Fund, TSF, ticketing and marketing staffs. He also served as the department's liaison to Missouri, Mizzou Sports Properties and was the sport administrator for the men's and women's basketball programs. His TSF staff, that's the Tiger Scholarship Fund, raised a record $55.5 million during the COVID year, 2020-21 fiscal year, exceeding its projected goal by more than two. 150%. Despite unprecedented hurdles related to the pandemic, Albert led Mizzou past the $50 million threshold for the second time in the department's history. Corey Miller says that is one hell of a resume. Indeed, he's impressive. 